Hello everybody and welcome back to Space Engineers, where today we're going to be looking at missiles again, yes. The last time I looked at missiles was during the beta, when they actually released the uh, event blocks and stuff, all these fancy blocks. And I haven't since really messed about with uh, them, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Now, I've done a couple of little things, but I'm going to need your guys' help. But that's further along in the distance. Um, I need your help to try and work out how to fix a problem I've come into. But today we're going to be looking through some missiles that I've made which do work. And then, yeah, um, moving on to some ideas which I want to make work but I can't. So, starting off... Wait, 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 wait. Before we get into today's video, you guys need to do something for me. It has come to my knowledge that only... 12% of you are subscribed to this channel. 12. What? Come on, let's change that. It's free for you guys. I work hard trying to make these videos to uh, give you some inspiration for designs. The least you can do is help me out by giving me a sub. Go down there. I'll give you a sec. Alright, fine, let's get back to the video. Uh, we, or oh, I made a simple missile. So this is just a pod which stores everything that it, which you need. Um, and I'll, then I was like, it doesn't have to be 3x3. Three three. It could be a 2x2. Two two. And that's where this sort of side came in. So it's just, um, if you get four of the... You know, I'll, I'll show you how to build one of these quickly. They're not too difficult. So you get... <clears throat> Jeez, my throat. Let me get a drink quickly. That's much better. Right. So you get four of these conveyor blocks like this. And you put them like that. Then you place one like that. And you place one and two blocks like that. And then you get your thrusters. And you place one like that. One like... No. You place one like that. One like... That... One like that, one like that, one like that. And that is your simple missile thrust in every direction being a 2x2. Two two. And then from there, you can do whatever you want. You could, uh, if you want longer range or more fuel, you could, you know, slap on some hydrogen. I've only put one on, and then you just need to make sure that you include your gyroscope. And then you have to have your event blocks. So the main important one is to, of course, have your move control, so the F is pointing towards the front. As you can see, nice arrow, front. This is the right side, and then that will be the left side. Okay, that it's makes got a nice sense. big F on it. And then the other block you just have to shove on is the target uh, offensive one. And by, yeah, target offensive. I'll just place that one like that. That one doesn't really matter where it faces because it's just a block that this one tells you, uh, tells the game where to actually point. And then you have to just shove a battery on. Like that. And that is a missile which works. That's basically that here. But I put the blocks on the other side, not on that side. It, you can see, it's easy to make. And then you can add armor to it. Uh, this case I've stripped it again just so you can sort of see. Uh, I've added a couple of blast doors and then all the warheads and then a couple more blast doors and then just some side panel stuff just to make it look cool. Um, and yeah, so that's the missile I made. I have also over here made one which is just heavy armor. So instead of having blast doors, it just is a, bl a block of heavy armor. Good for attacking big ships. Big ships. But you don't, or you're not here probably to look how you make these missiles. You're here to see me fire them. So I hit over here, I've got a nice fueling station. And then I've also got some timer blocks set up. So it does all the launch sequence. All I've got to do is click a button. And I hope it doesn't go for that target. It's going to go for that target. You're going to miss. I'm proud of you, son. You've got this. Yeah, woo. Oh, you got it. Well done. And now you're going to go. 
I love this game. Dun, 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 dun. What are you going for? You're going for that one turret. That's a lot of damage! Well, you went more for more than just a turret. You went for the entire flipping fuel tank. But it's still flying, so we need to fire more. More missiles. Oh, not, 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 not rain. No, no one likes rain. Alright, so what we could do is fire a load of them in quick succession. Maybe. This one is just a heavy hitter. This doesn't do anything to, uh... Here's by yeah. a scratch. So that one would be more for if the guns were actually on. It would take a couple of hits. That one should do a bit more. Why are they all going for the same spot? You really don't like this back engine side, do you? Hmm. None of them have done quite as much damage as that first one. So... Yeah, so I created these simple launch pods. They were quite fun. I don't know why I went back into that. So I created these uh, simple launch um, systems. Worked quite well. But then I was sort of thinking, what if you tried to put it on a turret? Because, of course, I love making turrets. The turrets video is, to this day, the best uh, video on my channel. If you haven't seen it, feel free to see it. If you have seen it, make sure you subscribe. Shameless plug. Um, so this is where I created thi this particular thing, which is making a lot of noise. And what it does is if I was to remove this and... So let's say... Let's... Oh, I don't know. There we go. So let's say I was the whole mechanism was facing in a different direction. As you can see, it turns to the target. Very cool. It also makes a lot of noise. Also very cool. Um, that's just because I need to turn the gyros off really on these things. I'm not going to do that yet. And so this is done quite simply by using some more um, offensive combat things. Which just sort of lock the enemy. And uh, yeah, they're set to these gyros. Which means no matter what this soft face always tries to face an enemy and then yeah just put a couple of uh pods on and the hard part was trying to work out how on earth to fire this thing because you know there's not just like a um, thing on the combat to start the timer block to fire these like i have by pressing a button so i spent a long time uh, all the way over here and this is where I managed to get to, uh, or I thought of using the event controller. And this will work. You can see distance lock target. As long as the target is within the range of the thing, or less than, it should start the uh, launch command. However, it don't seem to be doing that. And I don't know why. That means what I think it means. I'm in trouble. I don't know. So if I set it to like that. And then set it back up. Now it'll. Okay now it'll do it. This should fire all of these in a second. I've put on a nice bit of timer. Just so it has time to look at the enemy. And then this just fires a nice segment of four missiles. Which is pretty cool. You can see, they're all going to go for the back, because I I don't know. Congratulations, you got the fuel tank. whoop de doo What does it all mean, Basil? You have now hollowed out the entire back section of this vehicle. What just blew up? Is that like the... I don't know, it's just parts. <laughs> Alright then. Um, and yeah, these things are pretty... These things are pretty cool, I've, I've got to admit. They work in the exact same way, where if 
that I was... So imagine the ship just jumped in or something. And this was just on a base. You can sort of see they'll... Uh, they'll aim at the targets. The thing is, like, they're not... I don't get it, right? So that vehicle is within the range. But it hasn't activated the event controller. Why? It seems to only do it if I change uh, the distance on the event controller. Am I doing something wrong? Do you, do you guys know? Well, if I do that and then do that again, I'll start it because I've, I've basically just triggered it. Let's fire some more. Let us do that. That. Where are these ones going to hit? They are accurate, though. Since the beta, I've noticed that the accuracy is a lot better. That was an impressive size explosion. You have now entirely hollowed out the back section. Can you please stop aiming for the back? <laughs> I know I can ch I can change the uh, target priorities, but oh, you're now going to go for the front. You go through. Jeez, oh now it's now it's just going to reverse because you've taken out all this back through. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, it's beautiful. Now it's just a floating wreck. Victory is mine! So obviously, a system like this is just a one-time use thing. So this is when I was trying to mess about with uh, how would I make a printable missile type, right? So I had to tweak the design slightly. You can see here, I've had to move a battery by a block. And I've added a um, merge block. I've also had to remove all of this paneling because the two ends of the uh, connector, so this part of the block of a connector, you can see you can place attached blocks to it, and so when it, the merge block was on, if you had any block, including a panel like that, which is where it was, it would be attached to that connector. So I had to leave them off, and I don't know why, but it's not welding. I, I can't tell you why if I detached it. It it just doesn't weld. I... I don't know. I've even put parts, even though I'm in the creative world, I've still put parts in it. And they're just moving between welds. That's it. Like, it's just not, not building. Like, it, it can be built. It, it, it can it can be built but I, I don't know why it's not so if you guys have any suggestions on what's happening here or if you have any kind of designs of how I could make a turret which would have four missiles like this on it right so a, a turret platform which can turn but I can also fix up all of these like rebuild them that would be cool. I was trying to think of how I could um, sort of... One thing you can detect, right, is the projector has a percentage of built. It knows how much of the blueprint is complete. Now, if you had another event controller on this grid, right, and in this event controller you set the uh, thing that it's looking at into... I don't actually know what it would be. I don't know. Actually, you know what? You could, you could, you wouldn't even have to look at necessarily the um, projector. You could look at if you went to uh, percentage filled or something gas tank filled and set it to the hydrogen tanks so when 
when these missiles get built, obviously they're connected to a grid which can supply hydrogen. Once they are full, then they are allowed to go. Now, what I don't know is how to make it so you have to have this true before this one can start. And then once it is, how do you then make it like this is already gone off, imagine. So the, these are fired, so you, you have nothing. So that's already toggled once. As you can see here, the enemy vessel is still in range, but these aren't going to fire. How do you then reset this one to fire? I, I don't know. I don't know if it's even possible or if grips are the only way of making these things work. But I thought I might as well share these cool... Um, missiles that I've made. They're not anything spectacular, but they're quite cool. And who doesn't like explosions, so... Yeah. Like I said, if you can give me any advice on these kind of things, I'll be more than appreciative to uh, read the comments. But as always, my name's been Quantum Chief, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!